everyone. So last year I put up a video that was my 2011 New Year's resolutions and I really appreciated having that video throughout the year because I was able to go back to that video, you know, in different months and just kind of see if I'm completing my resolutions or if I've kind of slacked on them, if I've forgotten that I even made them. So I really liked that I had that video and I also liked how many of you made a video response for what your New Year's resolutions were and left them to that video because I was able to watch them and be like, oh my goodness, that should be a resolution for me. I should work on that, you know. So this year I wanted to do a my New Year's resolutions for 2012 video. I cannot believe how far, whoa. I swear you guys, I thought I just saw a person in the background on my like camera because I just saw it out of my peripheral vision. My heart is beating so fast. I wish you guys could have like seen what went through my head. That really freaked me out. Anyways, that was not the point of this video. My point of this video was, um, I did not know how great 2011 was going to be. And when I went back and watched my New Year's resolutions video from last year, I'm shocked at how I'm talking about, you know, I hope that I'm still making videos by the end of 2011 and I can do another video like this. I cannot fathom not making videos for at least another like freaking 15 years, but realistically, like at least four or five more years for sure. And I don't know, I've been having so much fun doing it and I really just wanna thank you guys for supporting me and being there for me and just kind of being along for the ride with me in 2011. And I've just, I've had some ups and downs in 2011. You know, there have been things that have been so great for me. And then there have been times in 2011 that um, weren't the best, but at the same time, overall, it was a great year. And I hope that it was for you guys as well, but I also hope for a better 2012 for all of you guys out there. So without, um, or with that being said, I have all of my resolutions typed up on my phone, just on a little note page. By the way, this is the Winter Glow case from Solaris. It's so pretty. I think it's really pretty. It goes from like silver, um, from blue crystals to purple to silver, and I don't know. It's like an ombre case. I think it's pretty. My New Year's resolutions for 2012. The first one is to put up at least three YouTube videos a week. I know that doesn't seem like a lot when you're like, there are seven days a week. I only get three videos from you, you know? I feel like a lot of times people are asking me if I put up a video one day, the next day on Twitter, they're like, where's our new video for today? Um, videos do take quite a bit of work for me to do, just, you know, the editing and uploading and all that stuff, but I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way, but I think that I want to do at least three a week. So by the end of 2012, I want to be able to sit down and say every single week of 2012, I put up at least three videos a week. So it doesn't have to be on one channel. It can be on either beauty or vlog, but I just want at least three a week. Okay. The next one is learn how to cook chicken cordon bleu. So this is something that I love cooking and baking, but chicken cordon bleu has always freaked me out. I don't like that you like cut open the chicken breast and you stuff it with other things before you cook it. And I don't know, it just, it does not make any sense to me, but I want to, maybe I'll take a cooking class and learn how to make that because it is one of my boyfriend's favorite dishes. And whenever I ask him like, what do you want for dinner? And he's like, oh, chicken cordon bleu. I'm like, I cannot make that. Like I've never ever been able to make that before. So we always like fall back on like spaghetti or something, but I want to learn how to make chicken cordon bleu this year. The third one is travel to England. I've only been to England one time before I went to London and I was only in third grade. So I feel like I really took it for granted because we, you know, we spent a lot of our time while we were there. We went to palaces, we went to art museums and all these things that when I was little, I was just like, oh my goodness, where's the toy store? Where's the toy store? I want to find the toy store. But now that I'm like older, I really want to go back and go back to the palaces and back to the art museums like I want to go to London for like a week and just sightsee and go all over England and I just think that that would be so much fun and I really hope that for 2012 I would about said 2011 for 2012 I can make that happen before the end of the next year like I just I really want to be able to go to London and yeah that's like a huge 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 resolution for me it's kind of like a bucket list thing but whatever the next one is do something for others at least once a month, like volunteer at an animal shelter, make blessing bags for the homeless, read to seniors, etc. So I just, I feel like once a month doesn't seem like a lot. You're like, you're only going to do it once a month, but that's 12 times in a year. And I just feel like, you know, spending some time volunteering at the animal shelter and going to maybe see if I can go to a nursing home and read to, you know, some of the people there. Like, I don't know. I just feel like if I do it at least once a month, I'll feel really good inside and I recently I don't know if you guys saw the video but I did DIY how to make it yourself blessing bags and that was 
an incredible experience through making them and everything. It was just, it makes you feel so good inside. You know that song Bubbly by Colby Calais? I feel like she's talking about, well, I don't know what she's talking about because I've heard some really weird things that she might be talking about. But what I think she might be talking about, it's like, you feel bubbly inside when you do good things for other people. Like, yeah, it's nice to go out and buy yourself something. Like, you feel good when you buy it. But imagine how you feel when you buy someone else something and you can't wait to give it to them and you know they're going to love it. I feel like that's how it feels when you, like, do volunteer work and stuff. So I really like the way that makes me feel inside. So I feel like I should do it at least once a month. The... The next one, I don't know what number this is, but it's don't repeat the same jokes at multiple dinner parties with the same people. So I love jokes. I'm the type of person, like I like the really cheesy corny jokes. And I feel like when I read one online or if I hear it from someone, I will laugh for two minutes straight. Like I'm talking like rolling on the floor, banging my knee, like laughing so hard, can't breathe, laughing for probably about two minutes. And then for like probably the next month, two months, I'll randomly think about it and start just cracking up wherever I am. But I have a habit of finding certain jokes that I love and then telling them at dinner parties. I, You guys know, you know, I love cooking and baking. So I try to have a dinner party at least about once a week or once every two weeks, but it pretty much evens out to about once a week. Um, and I always pretty much have the same people there and I'm always telling the same jokes and they're always like, we heard that one. And I'm like, yeah, but isn't it so funny? So I made a resolution not to tell the same jokes. And oh, I have a joke for you guys. Okay, this is my favorite one of the moment and I'm sorry if it's not funny to you guys, but I just, I find it hilarious and I crack up every time I hear it or say it. And I don't know, a lot of people are like, what? Okay, why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road, Blair? To get to your house. What? Knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken! <laughs> Did you guys laugh? I don't know. Um, I, I find it incredibly funny. Um, okay, next one. I want to solve a Rubik's Cube in less than 42 seconds. That I like, I'm a crazy, crazy lady when it comes to Rubik's Cubes. I'm always like sitting there solving them. My fastest time was 42 seconds and that was in the year 2010. So I really, really, really this year want to be able to get lower than 42 seconds. Even if it's 41.5 seconds or I guess 41.4 seconds because if it's 0.5 you round it up. So 41.4 seconds I want to be able to solve my Rubik's Cube. The next one is change my hair. I've had the same hairstyle for so long. It's just long down, dark brown, straight, just like, I don't know, just like hair. And I wanna either lighten it or darken it and cut it. And I don't know, I wanna spruce it up a little bit, get layers, maybe side bangs, like I don't know. But I wanna do something different with it. The next one is take a cruise, which I think I wanna do for my birthday this year. I've never been on a cruise before because it scared me so badly because I saw Titanic. And I was just, I was scared that the cruise would either sink or it would flip over and capsize like it did in Poseidon. Like I just, cruises scare me. But now I see like all my friends going on cruises and on Facebook they'll put pictures and I'm like, that looks like so much fun. So I wanna go on a cruise and um, I'm, thinking about going like around my birthday, so beginning of April. And then the next one is spend more time with family. Since I moved to LA, um, I get to see my family as often as I can, but it's not as often as I wish it was. So I wanna make more of an effort to fly back to Tennessee more, or you know, get plane tickets and have my family come out here. I just, I wanna be able to see them more because sometimes I've gone, the longest I've gone is four months without seeing them, but still, that's, I mean, that's a long time. Most of the time I go about two months and that's just, that's not enough for me. I wanna be able to see them more. My little sister is still so young. She's only nine years old that I don't know. I feel like every time I see her, she's grown up more and more. And I want to see the stages of her growing up, not just see her when she's already like what seems like an adult. Last time I saw her, I was like, you are an, a little adult. Like she acts like an adult. She speaks like an adult, but she's like in miniature form. It's like a miniature horse. I never understood those. Anyways, my last one is no regrets. The way I see this is you only live once, so I don't want to live it in the past. I almost feel like the past is practice. If it's something that you can't take back, if it's something, you know, you can't repeat the past, so if it's something that you can't help or you can't change, there's no reason to have any regrets for it, and that's kind of the way that I want to view this next year. If it's something that you can't help, then don't waste your time worrying about it because in the end, that's just going to create worry wrinkles, and I don't really want to have those at a young age, so I don't want wrinkles here. I don't want wrinkles here. None of that. I'm only 18 years old. I don't need those. Um, but I feel like if I worry too much about 
the, you know, past and about regrets and stuff. I don't know, I just, I feel like I waste too much of my time worrying and I just wanna live more. So those are my 10 New Year's resolutions for 2012. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Film your New Year's resolutions and leave them in a video response below. And I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, I'm sending you guys well wishes for the year 2012 and I hope that this is an amazing year for you guys. And I really hope that all that you hope for and dream of and everything comes true in this year. I, I sincerely do. And I feel like that sounds really corny, but right now all I'm thinking is my mind is try to say it in a not corny way and then it comes out and I'm like, I sincerely do. But um, no, I really hope that anything that you guys, you know, your wildest dreams, I hope that sometime in this next year, it's able to happen. Um, and then you're able to create new dreams and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave it in a video response what your New Year's resolutions are and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.